Hello everyone, and welcome to another fantastic episode, I believe this will be part 6, of Let's Play Uncharted. In the last part, we got a fair way through the game, and I think it's worth noting, actually, that according to the load game dialogue, we are already 23% through the game. So, you know, I just thought that was interesting. This will not be a super long Let's Play. So, of course, as I'm sure you know, we are continuing where we left off in the last video. Um, again, I want to ask around, because I've noticed these videos don't get many views or comments compared to my other ones. And I'm not, it's not so much that I'm all, you know, gung-ho about comments, rather than if you aren't watching and interacting with these, it makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. You know? I don't strive to be the most popular guy on YouTube, but I strive to put out some of the best work. So... Boom, headshot. Sorry, that's a fairly old meme. One thing that kind of makes me sad is the fact that Trollolo is now a dead meme. After all, Family Guy mentioned it, and, you know, once a meme leaks into real life, it's effectively dead. Although, I think all of us who have heard the Trollolo song will admit, as much as we don't want to admit it, it's a really catchy little song. Anyway. So, why am I doing so much better than I did last time? Let's get out the shoddy, and I bet I do even better still. Except the shoddy will not be good for what I'm doing right now. Shoddies are not good for ranged. And yeah, miraculously, I'm doing like 50 times better than I did last attempt. Ah, uh, thank goodness for shotguns. And I'm dead. Now, where do I start? Of course, all the way back here. That just fits, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and take this guy out with a headshot. And, of course, blind fire. Not the most ammo-efficient way to kill people, but it is the most life-efficient way, so... Let's kill these guys... <laughs> the fun way. Sorry about that. I'm sure that turned out pretty darn loud. Okay, let's sit here for a while and try to get back some of our health. Take him out. Block him. Dead. Alright, let's move on. Whenever there's a break in the action, it helps to reload. And, you know, I always like to pick up that assault rifle, mow down those couple people, and then pick my shotgun back up. Because it really is, you know, useful to get those people out of the way before you try to keep going. And of course, whenever you're behind, like, a opening, it helps to take out anybody that you can. Of course, ducking behind cover helps, too. Meleeing helps you conserve ammo. But of course I died, so we get to go all the way back once again. 
Hooray, I've wasted five freaking minutes doing absolutely nothing. So glad I played on easy. Alright. Boom headshot. Oh boy. Now I need to find that shooter. There he is. die. There we go. Okay. Um, one thing that's worth noting, it is 10.35, I have a test at 1.30, and instead of studying for it, I'm doing a let's play. Because that's definitely the most efficient use of my time ever, correct? Hey, like a week from now when I finally decide to upload this video, you guys will be thankful I made this decision. Okay, so I took a bit more aggressive of an approach, sure. Actually, that's why I'm out here. I'm ammo gathering now. Because okay. I don't want to be left without ammo. That would just be a really, really bad situation to be in. Believe me. And of course, that's the benefit of all the dead people having the same weapon that you do. And boom. Killed himself. I love doing that. I also like running out here to lure the enemies at me. Okay, so if this is the back corner, I think my best idea would actually be to hide back here. He's dead. I saw a treasure up there. We'll have to come get that later. Dead. And one more. And this guy has a shotgun, so we have to be careful. If an enemy has a shotgun, you want to do your best to take care of them as quickly as you can because they do pose a very major threat to you. Alright, now if we go up here... Why don't I just try to jump this way? Treasure! Now we're actually making some progress. Okay, so let's walk forward and hopefully we'll trigger a cutscene or something so I don't keep dying on that part. Um... Ah, I would be willing to bet that it wants me up here. Or I could be wrong. And I probably am. Okay, so... Ooh, piece of candy. Okay, let's look for where I need to be. My thought process on this is that I need to go up here and not fall. Okay, just jump directly. I could go over there, but that's where I came from, so I don't want to do that. That wouldn't make much sense. However, wandering aimlessly doesn't make much sense either, and that's what I'm doing right now, so... Uh huh. Well, can I make that jump? Ah, I see. They wanted me to go on that ledge that didn't really look like a ledge. Kind of a bit of a design flaw. I mean, they should make it plain that you're. They should make where you're going plain. Anyway. This is a checkpoint, and I'm only up to ten minutes. Since I had about five minutes of fail, I might end up letting this go on to about twenty minutes in length. We'll see. Um, anyway... 
So, how are you guys... Just a question, how many of you actually watch this in HD? Like, I'm not gonna... S even if only, like, 1% of you say you do, I'm not gonna stop rendering it in HD just because of the fact that, you know... All it, it only takes about 30 minutes to render, so... While yes, I could render it faster in standard, 30 minutes is perfectly acceptable, and I usually just start it uploading when I, like, have to leave for something, so that it'll upload while I'm, you know, away. So, the upload times, yes, it takes more or less an hour to upload one of these, sometimes more, sometimes closer to two. And I'm getting shotgunned at. Sweet. But the good news is that I've got plenty of shotgun ammo. Now, you, sir, need to just die. Okay, so... I don't really need to talk about, you know, what I'm doing in this game, because it's, you know, a really linear game. I except for I don't really understand why I can't go through there, but whatever. Ooh, more treasure. Alright, now we're cooking with grease. Okay, so I can't go that way. Never mind, then. Now I guess I just have to look around and figure out where I need to go. So, shouldn't be too hard. How about this way? Cheery. So there are some little crosses hanging up here with what appear to be corpses. That's lovely. Obviously, we can't make it across that gap. So, in typical Uncharted fashion, we have to do this the long way. So, um... Does anyone know the release date for Uncharted 3? I haven't actually been watching the press release as much because I'm too concerned with, you know, Skyward Sword. But, you know. Uncharted 3 is a definite, you know, at least a rental. Maybe a purchase. But, we'll see. Um, I, it looks really good. And, you know, the first time I played this, I didn't really like it very much. Um, mostly because it just felt like an incomplete game. The second one fixed that to a large degree. I liked the second one better than the first. What the heck, really? Ooh, that looked painful. Well, ooh, I'm up to 13 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to finish this little segment of the game, and then I will call it a video. And it started me pretty close to where I had been. So, it's I didn't lose out on a whole lot of progress by dying. What amazes me is how Drake could possibly perform these superhuman jumps with, you know, bullet point accuracy. Every single time. Oh yeah, I remember. This rock starts to slide. And then you end up over here. And because of the camera angle, you're unable to fire back at them, so you just kind of have to take it. But if you fire that at that TNT barrel, it wedges the truck in there for you to walk across. But you can also miss the jump and die, like I did. That, that works too. But, um, yeah. Where do I start? Okay, not too far off. Alright, jump across here. Jump up. I've done this before a couple times now. And fire. Boom. Truck falls. I use it as a platform, this time with less fail. And bye-bye, truck. 
it it went bye bye. Now we're climbing up a waterfall by means of climbing on rocks. And of course we have to kill these people. I think I'm gonna hang from this ledge instead. Makes it harder for them to hit me, you know? I just feel like, you know, the more hidden I am, the better a chance I have. There we go. And let's make it to land. Hooray! Now, having made it across treacherous waters over to land on the other side, safe and sound, and picked up ammo so that my weapons are full, I think this is going to be a good time to split the video, because I am right at about 16 minutes, which is a pretty good length, I think. So, yeah, in the next part of Let's Play Uncharted, we will, you know, continue from where we left off, alright? I will see you guys next time. Later.